and cocoa supply through deft trade practices, their confectionery is growing very popular even among Ryukyuan people. Perfectionist politicians are now que uh, sorry, protectionist politicians are now questioning whether such imports of luxury goods benefit Ryukyu, arguing that growing dependent on a good which our neighbours control leads to gold flowing out of our nation. Gold flowing out of our nation I don't think is going to be a high priority right about now, so the river of sweet, sweet chocolate will flow into our nation. It's that manpower recovery speed that I want back though. So I need to keep that manpower as high as I can. It is not just a number. Cassia, Taraz, these are not the problems that that's more that's more like it. Iceman asks how much longer I can stream. He doesn't want me getting fired for Ryukyu. I'll keep on going for another half hour and then I need to get showered and head to work. <laughs> so you were hiding there, were you? Well, we'll kill you before we finish up this war. I should have all the problems designed. Whoa! Give me the slip! Check uh, four four three three one three 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 two. So our troops are actually better than theirs right now at Tech Twenty Six. Who would have imagined Eastern troops being that rubbish? Well, I call them rubbish, but they are the ones mopping the floor with me in this battle. Oh, it's going to be down to the wire. No, not with a fire roll like that, it won't. Well, I'll leave you with your Russian revolutionaries. They'll finish you off nice and slow. Mm. There, that's looking all right. How much is this province? Oh, expensive is what it is. Alright, we're getting there. Take those border gore screenshots now. Russia, Russia, Russia. Ugh. Jake, what is just a number and what isn't? Administrative and diplo points are just a number. Military points are not. Money is now just a number. Manpower is never just a number. Know the difference. It could save your life. Now, I don't like jumping onto my own provinces here. Very dangerous. Ah. <sighs> You guys up there merged, and we'll have you up top. Get those folks over there. Mm, no. Bad choice. We'll go to Armenia instead. Although, what is with that choice of route? Any more for any more? You guys. Can't wait till Russia is my pet. Because fighting in Siberia is fun for no one.
Got a holy war against Sweden, but Sweden's still under the Union of Bavaria. Bavaria don't seem to be in a hurry to integrate them. Hmm. 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 I think I thought of something there, but we'll see. I don't want those coming along and beating me up in Tang Long, but I don't think I'll have to worry about that for a wee while yet. 100 power projection, it's quite nice. Gonna enjoy all those bonuses from it. Certainly unusual for me to have it. Break that truce, buy down that war exhaustion. Yeah, both of them. Enjoy even more revolts. There's not really much point engaging with them anymore because they're far too big for me to destroy. And then we march on Russia once more. It'll get easier from now on. Or so we hope. Very heroic sounding music for the occasion. There we go. I think I will uh, possibly take this Georgian region in the next fight. Or in the next peace deal, rather. Ugh. Jake, what was the event you had for Noble Republic? I had... Uh, I don't think they were reactionaries. I had Noble Rebels or something to that effect. And when I gave in to their demands, they didn't break my country, but I just gave in to their demands, and it forced me to become a noble republic. The thing was, there was hundreds of thousands of them, and I did not want to fight them. So I didn't fight them. Simple as that. Placed rebels there. At least Russia staying as my uh, rival this time. Should work out to my favour quite a bit. Ah, thanks for the uh, the reminder about these sieges here. Do them so often, I forget whether I've done them or not. Is that all of them? Probably doubled up on a few. But doesn't look like I missed any, except for Taraz. One of you are going to Sozak, so you go to Taraz instead. France has cancelled the right to military access. They've been 
Oh, we gave uh, we gave France military access. We don't actually have it through anyone, which is good, because it would chew up even more of our diplo points. As it stands, nothing but vassals. Grand. Let me help you out with your peasant problem there. Or maybe I can't. Any of my vassals having rev issues? Nope, just me. Let's hope they don't stroll over into my vassal lands. How embarrassing that would be as an overlord. Laharl tier overlord. And again, thanks for reminding me, more mercenaries indeed. I thought my uh, income would have tanked a bit further than it has just now. Taxation and production, they just, well, trade as well, I suppose, they all just, they all just go goodbye. And then my game crashes. That's an interesting one. I tried to change the map mode at the same moment that I clicked on my unit to go towards. It's clearly a sign. But I've still got time, so I'm going to keep this rolling. And then my game was corrupt. What a horrible twist that would be. Paradox just uh, remotely hacking into my game here. I'd wanted to do a pre stream of Resident Evil 4 today, but that didn't happen. Like I said, sleep did not come easily to me today. Now it's just going to show up the uh, the launcher for a while here. Don't you worry, that will change. Jake, the game couldn't process your border gore. Well, uh, when I played Ryukyu, the Three Mountains for EU4 last year, the game wouldn't crash, but it would hang for 20 minutes every 20 in-game days because it tried to process all the rebellions and the game would just bearing in mind it was about four six eight o'clock in the morning i'd been up all night doing the final push for europe and the game would just hang playing the rebellion noise over and over again it was kind of surreal and when i lay down after finishing and closed my eyes all i saw was black and red Frankly, a horrible experience. Okay, everything seems to be as it was. Jake, you need the anti crash DLC. Funny joke. Why isn't Jake playing on local save instead of Steam Cloud? Um. There's two reasons for that. One is that currently the mod I use to make everything readable for me, it blocks out the button that you click to make it a local save game. Secondly, I play this on my laptop as well as my home PC, so cloud saving is pretty convenient. Thank goodness I'd set these guys to go. Also, this allows for a rematch, which is quite funny. We'll bring in some uh, reinforcements this time, see if it helps out. Yeah, I don't think it's going to help out. Save me, Polish knights. Save me from myself. Wow.
I'm going to need to bring in the big boys for this stack. I could just leave them be, but... No, they must be stopped. Killing all my men here. Oh well, they were just, uh, they were just mercenaries. Paramesis, they were only slaves. Hmm. Shame he doesn't know just when to roll over and die. Quite as good as your guy, but hopefully he will suffice. Somebody says, hey DDR, unfortunately his name is got a lot of Z's, N's and G's in it, so I can't pronounce it. Wow. King of the dice rolls. gonna get these mercs over to Lithuania because there's a far less likelihood of rebs jumping up and crushing them over there. Let's get some dice rolls in our favour. Or not. Since the whole rebalance of units, dice rolls have become, uh, dice rolls and generals have become far more important. Which, uh, how I feel about that. I don't like luck being such a big player. Okay, you might as well be dead. Oh, that's cool. These guys are not loyal to uh, Die Viet. They're Anams nationalists. There's a nation you don't often see. And like most nations you don't often see, they have horrible generic national ideas. Was the chat prefix DDR taken instead of Ryukyu? I didn't want to choose DDR. It seemed a bit egoistical. Oh, here comes the Reb pain. It's not my best decision to leave these provinces to their own devices. So let's take care of them in that respect and carpet them. Prestige, one of the many things to go when you go well above your uh, overextension limit. Hmm. You might win this, you probably will. Tells me I need to have more troops working over there full time. Fortunately, you're all mercs, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's your new home, Siberia. Enjoy it. Maybe stick to the slightly less revolting provinces, though. Rebels for breakfast, rebels for lunch. Let's turn green and black. Why 
Why did you call yourself DDR Jake? asks Ardamantium. Well, I like DDR, and my name is Jake. Seemed a no-brainer to me. Killing my stacks over in Siberia, which ain't fun. Even though he has barely any troops, I'm just not keeping on top of them properly. It's horrible attrition to stay in Russian provinces, that's uh, preferable to staying inside my own provinces, which just get covered in reps, he says, as he engages a vast amount of reps in Russian territory. Alright, Russian patriots, I don't want to have anything to do with you, or my own peasantry. Yeah, I need to get out of land that I occupy very quickly as well. Because they spring up horribly. Hmm, no, let's not separate Moskva. Well, let's try and take as much other things as we can. Jake, you should do a DDR World Conquest with the Extended Timeline mod. You know, I really don't like all these suggestions of doing World Conquest as X country. World Conquests take a lot of time and a lot of thought, and they often fail. Not something I'm going to do on such a whim. Boy, Russia is chewing up my time here, but I suppose that's to be expected. It is Russia after all. <laughs> An insult from Portugal, okay. Now these rebels, I don't want them marching into my land. I suppose I could check and see if they actually would. For example, you're Kazani. So you're probably going to march all over this Tartar land. Same with you. Just do a full round of accepting demands then. Boom. Nice to see the Chasm getting their core back, though these cores have not existed for quite some time. Looking at 64%, this is great. Russians in Chula, are you deliberately ignoring their armies? No. It's just a lot to be dealing with at once, conquering Russia. Jake, is there a way to make overextension just a number? Uh, if there is, I'll be sure to let you know. It's pretty tricky though.
To make something just a number, you have to completely... Oh, that's awful. 107,000 of them. I have no leader. They have what might as well be no leader, so I just have to hope that my troops are pretty good here. And not when they have that many in reserve, so that's not going to work out for me. Try as we may. That's a whole chunk of manpower I'm not going to see again. Oh, so close. Well, might as well get some of my points back rather than none of them. Wow, that hurts. That's like 200 points down the pisser, and I'm going to have to spend them again anyway. Jake, any plans on what to do after Ryukyu? Yeah, I still want to play Caesar 3. You know, I just found that there was a widescreen patch that came out for that very recently. So I can play it in glorious uh, 1920 by 1080. And I will. Alright, things looking good here. <coughs> Overextensions, uh, to make it just a, mu a number, it's a lot like uh, Infamy from... Ooh, oh, that's just one province. I saw that. It's a lot like Infamy from European Versailles 3 to any that played it. Infamy, <coughs> it would be high, and you would get these events popping up all the time, just like you do when you have high overextension. <coughs> Excuse me. To make infamy just a number, and you could do it, but you would have to remain small. Trouble is, you can't really remain small and have a high overextension in Europe Universalis 4. So, that doesn't really help much, does it? Well, let's get our military funding. Only lasts half a year. The suggested offer is just concede defeat. I can assure you that, that will not be settled for. Hmm. Jake, your colonist. Yeah, I got two free colonists. Oh, that's a well-timed manpower event because it takes into account that uh, that bonus I have for military funding. colonizing these lands anyway. Well, I can't see any lands to send my colonists to, so I'm not terribly bothered. Also, you don't need such a good general over there. We may need him up here. <coughs> Horrible events, bring him on. Also, I'm I'm actually going to uh, separate Moscow because I want to see what happens. Sometimes it's worth taking a risk just so you can explore what happens in the game. Actually, it's very seldom worth the risk, but I'm going to do it anyway. 
still chew a lot more land from them in this war, so come on troops, take it. If you accidentally click on a unit while selecting provinces to take in a peace deal, you better believe it undoes all those provinces that you take. Also happens if, say for example, I click on this flag instead of this offer, it'll take me to Japan and again undo what I was trying to take. Let's just clear all the offer and take everything. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Not bad. Should reduce Russia even further. Not much rhyme or reason to the provinces I'm taking, but it's only going to take three more wars after this. Absolutely hideous. Russia's maxed out the aggressive expansion towards me. It's minus 1,000. Doesn't get any worse than that. Right, so just three more wars to de destroy Russia. And we can uh, we can call it a day. However, I gotta go get ready for work now. So I bid you all adieu for now. Have a wonderful rest of the day, and just whatever you do, don't just don't settle for grey skin. All right, farewell. Ah, I forgot to mention this and it's quite important. The next stream will not happen for the guts of a week, reason being that I'm heading off to Germany for the Paradox fan meetup in Cologne. Obviously I will not be streaming from Germany. Uh, I should be back Friday night, but then I got work so I don't know. Might stream at the weekend, it may have to wait till Monday though. But I'll post it up as soon as I know it, so there you go.